Hey, it's Mike from BlindsOnline.com. I'd like to show you how to install your new Roman Shade. Um, this particular Roman Shade is our Soft Fold Roman Shade uh, with the optional light filtering liner. Okay. Um, we also offer this particular style in a plain fold. And I would like to point out that all of our Roman Shades do come standard with a cord shroud for child safety. Okay, that keeps the cords uh, from from extending too far for a child, uh, so a child can't strangle themselves. Very important. Uh, now, our standard Roman shade does have the cord behind the shade, so that when you operate the shade, you will reach behind the shade in order to lift and lower the shade. Now, we do offer other options uh, on our Roman shades. We offer a cord forward option, which means if you prefer the cord to be around front. We can offer that to you. Uh, however, that shade will have a little valence uh, to cover the mechanisms. Uh, we also offer a top-down, bottom-up option, which will also have a valence and the cords forward. The top-down, bottom-up allows the shade to drop down from the top and also lift up from the bottom. We also offer a cordless option. Cordless is the most popular thing going now. Cordless meaning there is no pull string. You simply lift it up from the bottom and the shade will stay wherever you put it. Now there will still be rear cords on a cordless shade, very important. The cord, it's not a magic shade, they haven't invented that yet, so it will um, still have some back cords on it. Um, we also offer a continuous cord loop for those larger shades. Okay, Sometimes the larger shades are very heavy and you need that additional um, uh, power to get the shade up and down, in which case I would recommend the cord loop. Okay. Now we've gone through the different types of shades. This particular shade that we're showing you today is in the Essence pattern, color Onyx. And I'd like to show you uh, how to install this shade if you had ordered the shade as an inside mount. Okay. If you order the shade as an inside mount, you're going to notice that the head rail has two pre-drilled holes in it. Okay, so we've already done the work for you. The rail will have uh, a minimum of two holes depending upon the width of the shade. If there are more holes, then obviously they'll require more screws to mount the shade. So we've also provided with the shade uh, some two inch screws. And the two inch screws is what you're going to use to mount this shade. And what basically what we're going to be doing is placing the head rail or the top rail into the window frame, inserting the screw from the bottom through the hole and then screwing it directly up into the window frame. All right, so let's do that together, and I'll show you how easy this shade goes up. Uh, I'd like you to bring the shade up into the window and bring it uh, as far back into the window as you'd like it to be. Okay, everyone, some folks, uh, I particularly like the shade mounted, you know, set back in the window frame. So we're going to push this back a bit, even it out from left to right, so you have an even amount of space. Uh, from left to right, and then simply drill the screw directly up into the window. Okay, so that's one screw was already mounted. We take the second screw and we do the same thing. We go, whoops, yep, this is real TV, guys. So we take that second screw and put it right through the hole. And guess what? The shade is officially mounted. Okay, so once you have that mounted into the window frame, you can bring the shade down by simply moving the cord over to the left. That'll release the cord lock, and your shade fits perfectly inside the window. Now remember, this is the standard operation where you will have to reach behind the shade in order to lift the shade up and down, pull the shade up, move the string to the right in order to lock it in place. Oh, I just got caught in one of the cords in the back. And you're good to go. Now, if you ordered your shade as an outside mount, Okay, the installation process is slightly different. We are going to supply you with two, a minimum of two metal L brackets that look something like this. Okay, now with the L brackets are going to get mounted in one of two places. You're either going to mount them directly onto the window trim, like so, if that's how you measured, or you're going to mount them above the window trim, okay, depending upon how you decide to mount the shade. Um, if you mount it right to the window trim, you'll just simply put a screw on each side, mount the L brackets, simply rest the shade on top of it, come from behind the shade and drive a screw right through the L bracket into the top rail of the screw. And that's all there is to it. So that's your outside mount. This is your inside mount. If you have any additional questions on how to mount your Roman style shade, please feel free to give me a call. I'm Mike from BlindsOnline.com and thanks for watching.